cat claws are retractable and are regularly replaced. This is a natural phenomenon and is helped by scratching wood or other soft surfaces, which helps remove the old part of the nail. Most young and adult cats do not need to have their claws trimmed, especially as outdoor cats will use their claws for climbing. Providing plenty of suitable scratching options will encourage your cat to keep their claws in good condition by scratching. Cats also like to use scratch posts as a way of transferring their scent from the scent glands in their paws. They love to have their own familiar scent in the home. Some older cats can suffer from overgrown and thickened nails as they become less active. The claws tend not to retract quite as easily and a touch of arthritis will make scratching uncomfortable. These cats may need some claw maintenance. If you're in any doubt if your cat needs their claws clipped, consult your vet for advice. And if you ever find a nail has grown into the pad of the paw, consult your vet to treat any possible infection. It is always best to get your cat used to having their paws looked at and handled initially, as many cats are not used to having this done. Ideally, start this when your cat is younger. This allows you to check the nails regularly. Never force your cat to have their claws trimmed, as this will cause distress to your cat, unlikely yourself, and can lead to injury to both you and the cat. Here, we will demonstrate how to clip a cat's claws safely. You may have to do this in stages. For example, one paw at a time and space this out over a few days. Ideally, you will have another suitable person helping you and ensure you have all equipment ready to hand before you begin. First, close windows and doors to prevent escape. You may want to place a towel or blanket under them if you are using a hard surface like a table. Make sure the cat is held securely but comfortably. Remain as calm as possible. Be conscious that if a cat is not used to having their feet handled or claws clipped, they may react unexpectedly and even attempt to scratch or bite if distressed. Using an appropriate pair of clippers, these should be available from your vet or pet shop, gently expose one nail at a time and trim only the curved tip of the claw. Make sure you don't cut the claw too short, as this will cut into the quick of the nail, which will make the nail bleed and will be painful for your cat. If in doubt, err on the side of caution. Once you are done with the claw clipping for the day, give your cat a reward. For example, play their favourite game, give them a special treat, or, if they like it, give them a stroke. <laughs>